You know, Frida, when Mrs. Schwartzberg said, have I got some boys for you? Maybe we shouldn't have listened. Hurry up, Frida. The boys are going to be here any minute. Elaine, what do you think they're going to look like? How should I know? You're the one who spoke to them on the phone. Well, I only spoke to the one named Sam. His friend Joe was working that night. Post office, I think. Well, sounds like a steady job, please. What did Sam sound like? Oh, tall, dark, kind of. Could you tell anything about his character? Well, when the operator said, five cents for the next five minutes, please, he threw it in without a moment's hesitation. Ooh, he sounds like a real spender. Here, you can have the mirror now. I have a new tube of tangy lipstick. Gee, Frida, I wish you hadn't talked me out of wearing my green off the shoulder. Elaine, I told you, it's always best to wear basic black. But it looks like I'm going to a funeral. So, if they turn out to be stiffs, you're dressed for it. All you have to do is light a candle. They should be here any minute now. Frida? Yes? Which one do you want? Well, let's be mature about it. You mean, toss a coin? No, I mean... It depends on our various personalities, by the way we hit it off, by what it is a boy and girl are looking for in each other. I agree. That should make it easy to pair off. Now that I think of it, not really. Because what both of them want, both of us got. Uh, 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 Frida, uh, did you give them the right address? Yes. Is the whole light on? Yes! You told them nine o'clock? Yes, and stop screwing up your face like that. One more wrinkle could blow the whole deal. Don't make them think we've been waiting. Is this the residence of Miss Frieda Miller? Uh, yes. Uh, won't you come in? Thanks. You are Sam. That's right. This is Joe. I'm Frida. You have a very nice telephone voice. Uh, thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. This is going to be a pushover. Who needs it? I'd like you to meet my friend Elaine. Elaine, this is Sam. Sam, this is Elaine. Joe, this is Elaine. You then, this is Joe. I'm Frida. Well, now that we all know each other, shall we? Leave. Sam, can I talk to you for a minute? Sure. Excuse us, girls. Sam, I think they want to go out. You think so? Look at them. They're dressed to kill. This is going to cost. Joe, stay with me. Have I lost one yet? Well? Girls. Joe and I have been talking. We thought it might be nice if we all could stay here and maybe get acquainted. Instead of rushing around to theaters and restaurants and crowded places like that. You know. Yeah, I know. Excuse me, I have to talk to my friend Eli. What do you think? I don't like it. Well, what can happen? I don't know, but with those two, I'll feel safer in a crowd. Joe, maybe we should take them out first. Like the preliminary to the main event? I ain't gonna be seen in public with them. Come oh. on. Oh. Sam, Joe, Elaine and I talked it over. We like you guys, but we don't like this room. We've been in it all night. You'd be doing us a great favor if you took us out of it for a little while. Is that asking too much? Yes. No. Excuse us. Joe. You gotta be philosophical about this. If you wanna take a little, you gotta give a little. I don't like the odds. Frida, if we get through this evening, the first thing you should do is tear out your telephone. Girls, Joe and I agree that on the first date, a couple should maybe live it up a little. So, we'll take you to a restaurant. A quiet, dark spot. A very dark spot. Romance? Nah, camouflage! Someone 
Nice to meet you, Jenny. Say, you look like the kind of gal that appreciates the finer things in life. Tell me, what do you think of this? I bought this whatchamacallit for me and the little lady. Yeah. You see, it's a, it's a combination razor strop, which I can use, and at the same time, the little lady can sharpen her fingernails. And would you believe it? 25 cents marked down to 17 cents. What do you think of that? Oh, you're so thoughtful. I'm sure she'll love it. Well, that comes from 17 years of togetherness. Why, I bet you right now the little lady is upstairs puttering over a hot stove preparing one of my favorite meals. Gee, when I find the right guy, I hope I'm as lucky. Oh, you will be, Jenny. You will be. Don't worry. But right now, you gotta excuse me because I have to run upstairs to get my big smile, a hug, and a kiss. Excuse me.
Okay, I can tell there's something on your mind. <laughs> Let's hear it. I'm going to shoot you, Frank. Karen, you know I work hard all day. Can I have a little peace when I come home at night? You'll have all the peace you want tomorrow. Damn, I knew it was going to be one of those nights. And now, I bet there's an argument coming up, right? I can just feel it. It'll be a very short argument. Yeah, but who ever heard of a short argument with a woman? We're wasting time. Are you ready? Well, I guess I'd ask for a last meal. If you will, it's that you're right and cook. Who, me? A rotten cook? Uh, it's about time you admit it. Are you ready? My, we really are in a bad mood tonight, aren't we? But I'll feel better tomorrow. Uh, tell me, why do you want to shoot me? Do you really want to know? I figure I'm entitled. I'm going to shoot you because you're a cheap rat. For 17 years we've been married and you've never given me anything I've ever wanted. Never! Me? Cheap? Well, pardon me while I laugh up my sleeve. Party! Ah! 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 Why, every time you wanted money, I gave it to you, and the minute you got your mitts on it, bang! J.C. Penny every day! I did not go every day! Then why? Just once! Just once when you didn't go! Mr. Penny, since you get low card. <laughs> shoot! Shoot already! Better than being aggravated. It'll be my pleasure. One for the money, and two for the show, and three to get ready, and four... Wait, to... wait, wait. What? did you pay for the gun? $65. It's a 38 $65? You couldn't shoot me with a 22? God, why didn't you tell me you needed a gun? You know my brother-in-law, Marvin, can get it on sale. I am tired of all this talk. I want to get this over wait, with. Wait, wait, wait. How many what? guns did you buy? Six. Six. Six? Why did you need six bullets for? You couldn't shoot me with just one? I'm such a small target? Five wasted bullets laying around the house. God. Now you've had it. I am going to polish you off right now. God. You're really serious, aren't you? Oh, you bet I am. For 17 years, I've listened to you bore me out for the bad bargains I've made. And the worst bargain I ever got was you. That's it. I'm going to finish you off. This is crazy, honey. Don't do it, please. Honest, I didn't mean all those things I said. Too late. I swear it, honey. I'll never holler at you again. Never. Never. I mean it. I don't care how much you spend. Just please, don't shoot me, for God's sake. Don't shoot me. Oh, I'm starting to feel faint from this whole thing. I think I'm going to pass out. Oh, you're doing it to me. Oh, 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 I can't. Oh. Oh, Frank. Frank! Frank! Wake up! Frank, wake up! I know you didn't mean all those things you said. You won't holler at me anymore, Frank. Please speak to me! Oh, I need a telephone. I need a uh, uh, telephone. Telephone. Uh, hello, operator. It's my husband. Quick! Get me Dr. Simpson! Wait, wait. <laughs> Don't get Simpson. Get Galaxy, he's cheaper! <laughs> you put sugar in my tea? I put sugar in your tea. You want a cracker? What kind of cracker? I got chocolate. Graham, macaroons. You got macaroons? Name it, you got it. Maybe a plain cracker. I don't have a plain cracker. I got chocolate, Graham, macaroon. All right, a Graham cracker. It's upstairs in the kitchen. Molly, maybe later. So, Izzy, how are you feeling? Thank God, knock wood, perfect. 
That's not what I hear. I hear your blood don't circulate so well. Not true. My blood circulates. I'm not saying everywhere, but it circulates. <laughs> Is that why I see you limping? I don't limp. I'm fine, I'm telling you. In the pink. Wonderful. For a minute, I thought you were having a flush. Molly, enough already. Stop joking around. We've got to get serious. For three years now, I've been telling you this. A beautiful woman like you. This house is too much for you alone. My wife, your husband, should rest in peace. Are gone for eight years now. Molly, I am asking you for the positive final last time. Marry me. Ah. Molly, we're not getting any younger. Both our families should live and be well, have families of their own. Molly, listen to me. I may be too old to run a mile. Run a mile! Yes, run a mile. But there's one thing I still do very well. Yes, I know what you do very well. I may be too old to jump a stile. But there's one thing at which I still excel. I've been meaning to talk to you about that. Although my hair is turning gray. No, so what? It's gray. I still believe it when I say. What, darling? Say, darling. It's never too late to have a fling. Just as nice as spring, and it's never too late to fall in love. Boop the doop, come on, make chicken soup. It's never too late to wink an eye. Maybe you need glasses. <laughs> I'll do it until the day I die. I know a good idea. I'll bet you do. And it's never too late to fall in love. You know, is he a sugar? If they say I'm too old for you, then I'm going to answer quick, my son. Whatever drinks the wine that's new, the old wine tastes much nicer. A gentleman never feels too weak to pat a pink arm or pinch a cheek. And it's never too late to fall in.
you can't be an old master. Mature is <laughs> not old. Oh, it's never too late to fill and do. At any age, one and one may do. And it's never too late to fall in. Never too late to fall in. Never too late to Take a bow, Muggs, wherever you are. And in our celebrity audience tonight, we got some major personalities. First and foremost, I want you to meet my most trusted friend and ally, Knife in the Back, Jaime. Hey! Next, my good friend, kick him in the head, Harold. Hey! And last but not least, my childhood chum, Denny the Dip. 
To the west side of Manhattan. A dynamite selling job, guys, like we say in our profession. So, in honor of your achievements, we got a special treat tonight. I beg you, hey, shut your traps. <laughs> Listen to this doll. She don't mix, but she sings, forget about it, she sings one hell of a song. I want a big hand for Miss Libby Morgan. <laughs> There's one thing that I've got It's my man Cold and wet, tired, you bet But all that I soon forget With my man He's not much for looks And no hero out of books is my man Two or three girls has he that he likes as well as me, but I love him. I don't know why I should. He isn't good. He isn't true. He beats me too. What can I do? Oh, man, I love him so. Life is just despair, but I don't care when he takes me in his arms. The world right. oh, right. What's the difference if I say I'll go away when I know I'll come back on? For whatever my man is, I am his forevermore. What's the difference if I say, I'll go away when I know I'm on the God, but maybe someday, for whatever my man is. Tell us, when is this happy occasion? Hopefully soon. With the wedding that she's planning, if it isn't soon, who will have strength for the honeymoon? Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. In honor of your engagement, Sydney, go run down to the cellar, make some new champagne. Yes. Okay, everybody, drink up. Let's go. We must be arrested. Come on. 